Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th. What is it? Is today the 16th? 17th. 17th. Okay, timing is fluid. Timing is fluid, so whenever this resonates. So what do we have for a message today? Typically, these readings tend to resonate anywhere from the day that I do them to a few days later, sometimes even longer than that. What do we have for a message today? Oh, I forgot to turn the heater off. King of Wands. So the King of Wands is given to take action. This is somebody who is action-oriented. So somebody that gets a vision and takes action on that vision. Very, very passionate energy. Has a strong desire, ambition, and drive to get something done. So somebody has this vision and they're about to take action by the looks of things. World. World is a major completion of a cycle, end of a phase, end of a project, focusing on the future, leaving the past behind. So yeah, this is the completion of a, of a project, an accomplishment, traveling, leaving the past behind, moving towards the future. This guy is about to take action. A long-term project has come to an end. It's come full circle. It's time to step into the new life. Oh, wow. Hermit. Now, definitely been thinking about it. This is uh, coming out of hiding. Uh, has planned something. So we've had, we have an individual who has been thinking a lot. They've come up with a plan, and now they're about to take action on their plan. This is a very wise individual that has become consciously aware. They definitely have become enlightened. Going down a new path with courage and confidence and strength and having no fear. So we have somebody here that has learned a life lesson. They don't have any fear. They're coming out of hiding. They have been enlightened. Mm, I said no fear a little bit too soon. Now this is... Uh, mm. What is this strength card reversed? Now this is seeing the truth. I don't know if there's some, some poor health here. There could be some depression. Feeling inadequate. There could be some there could be some fear. This is fearless. Taking action. Lack of uh Courage, typically. The strength card reversed is no courage. But the king of wands is very, very strong. And it's time. It's time for this new life. Drained. Somebody may have been drained. They may have been uh, blocked. Somebody may have been blocked by fear. But this is having no fear. So this is blocked. This is opening up. Seeing things. Coming out of denial. Somebody has been in a place of denial. But they're coming out of denial. I, I, you know. That strange card reversed. This is becoming enlightened. About who they are. Somebody may have forgotten who they are. They may have done something out of character. Now they see. This is seeing very clearly. Removing a blockage. Opening up. There's been some sort of procrastination. There's been some sort of delay. And it was because of fear. But this is having no fear. It's time for my new life. This is the end of a cycle. Something is coming full circle. It's the end of a chapter. It's the end of a journey. 
opening up, taking the mask off, seeing things very, very clearly. Somebody may have been controlled by another person as well, or controlled by fear, whatever. Um, but the, the strength card reverse is force, it's control, it's unable to master emotions. But with the two of swords reverse, there's been, there's been some sort of delay, but now things are being exposed. There's overwhelm. There has been overwhelming fear and worry. There has. There's been a lot of stress, but I think now there's some sort of you know, desire to deal with it. You know, I'm going to find my strength to deal with this. Somebody was holding on to anxiety or resentment or something like that. They may have been emotionally cold or emotionally guarded, but now they're, now they're ready to go down that path and face their fears. So somebody's going to be facing their fears that have consumed them. They've been staying safe. They've been protecting themselves. But now they're ready for that new life. They're ready to leave that behind because that fool, that uh, fool, that and that fool is a new beginning. But it's not here. The world card is an ending that leads to a new beginning. And it obviously was a fool that was a fearful. And now we're letting go of the fear and stepping in the new territory. So somebody is going to be stepping into new territory. Um, yes, taking action to bring success. So the magician does something. This is somebody who finds the willpower, uses all of their resources to create something new. This is a creator. So we have somebody here that is taking action. They're willing to shed the old to bring in the new. So this is a manifestation. This is a golden opportunity and taking action. So somebody is definitely taking action on this day. And they have a divine connection and they've asked for something. And I feel like they, they, whatever they asked for is there's an opportunity to get what they asked for. But the only way they're going to get it is if they go for it. They have to go for it and they have to have faith. So I do feel like uh, somebody has asked for something. They ha the opportunity is right in their hand. Now they all they have to do is, is, is act on it. So this is a yes answer. Ooh, moving very, 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 very fast. So somebody rushing in very, very, very fast. This is a very strong person. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so yeah, this is somebody that has a lot of strength after they have let fear consume them. This is no fear. Having no fear. So we do have somebody that is, is uh, about to do whatever it takes to bring success. And there is no one going to get in their way. So there is no stopping. This is somebody that has a plan. This is somebody that has a plan. They are very, very skilled and they are about to put their plans in action. So, and I feel like they've, it's a very well thought out plan. Somebody has come up with a plan and they are about to put their plan in action, whatever their plan is. Um, they're going to take charge. This is an individual who is very, very, very focused um, there could be some communication coming in, some blunt, direct communication. There could be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. It could be either way with that Knight of Swords. This is somebody that is uh, has come up with a strategy of some sort, and they are moving very, very fast to, towards whatever they have come up with. You know, they've come up with something. Somebody has come up with a plan, and uh, now they're about to put it in action. Put it that way. Uh, this is somebody that is very clever, very sharp, um, uh, skilled, very, very aware. This we have a person that has become awakened. You know, they've been through a period of enlightenment. They have uh, connected with Source. You know, they are they are connected with Source, and I feel like they've been guided. Right? They've been guided to you know, face their fears. So we got somebody here that's going to be facing their fears head on, head on. And if, and I feel like they've been avoiding, you know, with that two of swords reversed, they've been playing it safe. You know, they've been playing it safe because their fears consumed them, but now they're ready to really, really, really open up, you know, um, Moving very, very fast in a new direction. Ooh, seven of swords. This is definitely a planner. 
we definitely have somebody that is is uh, has been plotting and planning and they're about to take a risk they're about to take a big big risk this is somebody that is very very courageous I feel like there's somebody coming back. It's like, and it's very sneaky. This person has been planning it all along. I mean, they've been making plans and, and here they come. Here they come very, very, very fast. This is somebody that has been, I don't know if this person has been blocked or they may have shut down emotionally in the past, but now they've become enlightened. They've evolved. You know, this time of introspection or isolation has, has changed somebody. There may have been, somebody may have taken a time out and now they've realized there's some sort of realization here. We have a very, very cunning, clever individual here. Very cunning. This person knows exactly what they want. And they are definitely, definitely, definitely going for it. Light is about to be shed on some sort of truth. Somebody's been hiding something. They've been they've been hiding something, but the, the, they're gonna get their their the truth is gonna come out. Here comes some truth, some truthful communication. Somebody has this deep desire to open up. It's almost like coming clean. Coming clean. That's what it is. It's coming clean. Hmm. King of Swords, reverse, following. Somebody may be following their heart after they've been cold. They've been using too much logic. You know, they've been uh, overly logical and it's not been, not been fulfilling their needs, not been fulfilling their their heart chakra right now they've become enlightened anyhow I feel like there's some challenging information that is coming or a challenging conversation um, I feel like uh, there's definitely going to be some direct communication with an individual who is looking for I don't know, it could be healing. They may want to heal a situation. They're just looking to let go, let go of their pain or something like that. There's been some deception. There's been some lies. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They've been very, very cold hearted, maybe even abusive. Um, definitely neglectful. They've been fearful, feeling inadequate, blocking the truth, not telling the truth. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They've been lying. They have been lying, but now it feels like they're finding the courage that they did not have to communicate the truth. So what, I don't know what this is. There is definitely some sort of truth that is coming out after somebody has been lying. We have somebody here that was lacking integrity and they may have been getting away with it, you know, getting or, or well, lying to themselves or, you know, blocking the truth. They were blocking the truth. But now it's like now they're ready to take action to bring success and they're going to do it really, 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 really fast. This is somebody rushing in. They are rushing in. They've become enlightened. Through isolation, they're ready to, to face their fears. They're taking action. They want to be doing the noble thing. You know, they want to do the noble thing. They want to do the right thing. 
They want to take charge. They're taking charge. This is somebody who has become self-aware. They've gone through some sort of awakening. And the decision is made. They've made their decision. They're ready to face their fears. And they're ready to take action. So somebody is going to be uh, coming in really, really, really fast. And they're, they're really doing something. Ooh, heading towards the high priestess. Now the high priestess is somebody that is spiritual. Deep, deep feelings, very receptive, been keeping a secret. So somebody has been keeping secrets, hiding something from the high priestess, but the high priestess knows you can't hide nothing from the high priestess. You may think that you can, but you can't. You can say to the high priestess, you don't know me. Ha! Okay. So the high priestess, she sees all. She's very reflective. Okay, she's reflective, she's receptive, she observes, and she takes everything in. So we have somebody here that is headed towards this. Well, the high priestess is typically very self-sufficient. She chooses to be single. She chooses to be alone because she doesn't want to be in everybody else's energy. Because she feels so deeply. She can feel their energy. Like I said, you can't hide nothing from the high priestess. It's better to be alone than to be with all these people taking in their energy. You know, got to protect myself from that energy. So anyhow, we have somebody that is headed towards this high priestess very, 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 very quickly. of swords now the eight of swords is mental turmoil it's confinement restrictions a reevaluation somebody is reevaluating where they're at they have been reevaluating where they're at And now this is this is it's, it's this is this is like escaping. Somebody is escaping their fears. They've been in a place of fear, and they are about to escape their. They have, they have. We already talked about that. They've been confining themselves and restricting themselves in a situation that, you know, may have seemed like it was safe, but it wasn't. This is finding the means to escape. Somebody is, and I feel like somebody's being broken free as well. It feels like somebody could be coming in to break somebody free from some place of mental turmoil. Somebody has been, you know, having a hard time breaking free. It feels like somebody is coming in to break them free from something. Definitely a mask is coming off. Somebody is broken, being broken free. They are going to be stepping into new territory for sure. This is the end of a cycle. This is freedom. Fear has consumed a person and the fear is going to be gone. Somebody is really letting go of fear and they are breaking themselves from some sort of situation that has caused them a lot of anxiety resentment, discomfort. Somebody has become spiritually awakened and they are about to uh, go after their heart's desire. Good luck.